I could fall off the ladder climbing 30 feet in the air to hook the strap and chain to. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's kind of a lot that could go wrong here. Don't try this at home. This is going on Rusty Judd thing. Yeah. Hey, welcome back to Rusty Judgment. Today, we're gonna see if I can finally drop this ugly tree behind me and not drop it on my building that we just redid. I have some help coming, which is a good thing because I think this would be super scary on your own. I'm fairly nervous about it with the help I have coming. Granted, I have a, a decent amount of people coming who are very good at cutting down trees. So we're gonna see if we could drop these trees here. Ideally, we want to drop them all that direction into the yard because two of them, these two, will fall onto the shed. And then this other one that looks straight is actually leaning over the power lines and the transformer. So they've all got to go the opposite direction that they're leaning. Um, so to help with that, I'm going to go grab some equipment from my in-laws house and some safety gear and we'll be back. So obviously there's a few things that could go wrong here. There's always something that could go wrong when I'm around, to be completely honest. Sometimes I have some really ambitious ideas and I think that I mean, maybe it, maybe it's I think that I'm invincible or something or that uh, no harm will come to me. I don't know. Anyway, a couple of the trees could fall on the building. That's that's one. The other tree could fall on the power lines or the transformer. <clears throat> that's also kind of a big deal. Um, beyond that, I mean, somebody could get hurt. Like, I have to I had to borrow a ladder from my father-in-law because what I'm gonna do here is. I'm gonna take a, a strap and a chain way high in the tree and hook it to that and then hook onto a payloader, one of my father-in-laws, that's where I'm going right now to get. And uh, the idea is to, to, to cut, make some cuts and then pull the tree over the direction we want. Um, there's not a lot of real estate over there as far as distance to pull the tree with the loader and have the loader be super far away. So, I mean, there's a few things like, I could pull the tree on top of the loader, you know, as a, the tree comes over, I could not have enough distance between me and the tree and pull the tree on top of me. Uh, I could fall off the ladder climbing 30 feet in the air to hook the strap and chain to. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's kind of a lot that could go wrong here. <laughs> um, but I have help, that's the, that's the biggest key here. I think as the years go on, so I'm 39, I'm not 40 yet, and I've I've primarily done uh, I've primarily done everything myself or as much myself as possible. And I would like to change that. I would like to not work alone anymore, and I would like to not rely solely on myself for decisions and uh, work productivity and like just I want to work with people because it just seems like things go better when you have extra hands, extra brains, um, all that kind of stuff. So we have some people coming out today. I actually think, I haven't talked to my father-in-law yet about this. He knows what we're doing today, but I think I'm going to see if he can come out and just kind of give me his two cents on how we're pulling this because my father-in-law is a very wise man. And so I trust his opinion. So I'm gonna go get a payloader and a bunch of chains, head back out there, and we're gonna start hooking this thing up and see if Tom doesn't fall out of a tree. All right, it's do or die time. We're going for the easy one first. Uh, he's not super excited about this. So if uh, Wally's not super excited about it, it's gonna actually be sketched today. So uh, pray for us. And keep watching the video. <laughs> I'd love it if you subscribed. I gotta go. He's making cuts. Alright, I'm in reverse in first gear. He's saying 
okay, I'm doing nothing. I don't like that I can't see him with that little tree in the way. Okay, that came faster than I was hoping. Alright, well I don't think we hit the building though. This was super scary here, so I ran up to Wally after this thing dropped and asked him, I was like, hey, did you plan on that dropping that fast? And he's like, no, that dropped way sooner than I thought it was gonna drop. Well, it was rotten. All the way inside of this guy, which is crazy. Which means that that guy is most likely rotten as well. Wow. That's something. I've never seen a tree that rotten before. Or I mean a tree this big. Okay. I'm typically not one to volunteer to do the scary job, which is climb this ladder. And that ladder completely collapsed, is 20 feet long. And then we had it almost extended all the way out. So I would say I was at least 35 feet high or higher. And uh, I, I really didn't want to do it, but it's my property. And if someone's going to get hurt on it, I would rather that be me. Granted, I would prefer no one to get hurt anywhere. But so this was scary. I uh, halfway up the ladder, I sat down to Wally who Wally's my neighbor, uh, he lives across the road from me at, at my house where we live. I said, thank you for holding the bottom of the ladder, Wally. <laughs> He's like, no problem, that's the least I could do. Well, this was super disappointing. We dropped one limb, as you saw, and then realized that this entire tree is hollow, like insanely hollow. And so then my father-in-law came up because I was having problems with my skid steer. So he came up and brought me some hydraulic fluid from my house. And he started looking around and he was like, I don't think you guys should drop that other tree. He's like, you don't. So, so right now I've got, we've got the loader hooked up to that tree. You saw me climb the tree and I put a strap and a chain on it um, as high as I was willing to climb down to the loader. And then the loader's backed up and then parked over here. Just is kind of like a safety anchor, basically. Um, the Where the back of the loader is right now is about at the ditch. So, like, in, in theory, you would want enough room so that you can back all the way up, pull the tree down, and have, like we talked earlier, have the tree not land on the loader. I don't have enough real estate going towards the road for that. I could go to the side, but that's... Uh, probably a little too dangerous with the way the tree is angled. So uh, the solution here is we stopped cutting all together and uh, we called the guy who has trimmed our other trees at our house. He's gonna come out next week and he's either gonna climb this tree and start dropping limbs piece by piece and having them all tied off and then he'll lower them piece by piece or we're gonna rent like a, a boom lift and he's gonna go around in that and then same thing. Until it's thin enough, we can drop the whole trunk. That's the plan as of now. We were gonna drop these other two off the side, but I said, hold on. If we drop those other two, does that make this one leaning over the shed weaker? And so then we thought, yeah, that there actually might be something to that. So we are not going to touch it uh, until we can start dropping it piece by piece. So sadly, this is all the further we're getting now. I'm kind of bummed about that because I was hoping to just get this tree gone, um, but we're not. So we're going to move on to other things. Come back and do this later. All right, tree service. At your service. Ready to cut that tree down. <laughs> 